I know this video is going to be disheartening to those of you who have yet to um really even crack open this update. And I know it's going to sound like I'm just straight complaining, but um it really does have to be this way. <laughs> There's too many things to talk about. Um this update with mutations completely ruined Brawl Stars. First, let's go to all the times that Angelo one-shotted me through a wall. Just not only that, he can one-shot three people through a wall with his mutation alone. Not only is Angelo broken, but so is Gray. Now, while Gray's um, mutation is pretty cool having multiple holes, he should always be able to have two holes because Gray really has, um, no one plays him and he's really hard to use. But yeah, so the hook now, Gray can drag someone into the walls. So if you're playing as Godzilla, look, Gray will literally just do what happened on the screen, drag you right into a wall and you'll be stuck there for the whole entire match, allowing them to use this exploit to literally gain like hundreds of trophies just by by playing this Godzilla mode and trapping one of the brawlers. There's groups of three who, who know life brawl stars, and so they go in there with Gray, Ricochet, and Colonel Ruffs. Not only that, but it's, it's a straight up development issue. Um, these maps, as soon as you touch the Godzilla thing, and you turn into Godzilla, there's a high chance that on some of these maps you will get stuck by the buildings right beside you. There's a there's this um idea that you can glitch through the walls as Godzilla and just get straight up stuck. It's happened to me so many times. How does um how does something like this even happen? There needs to be like a button you could press to to self-destruct as Godzilla or just fucking kill yourself or something. The the suicide button. More game developers need to implement a suicide button because they're so certain that their fucking programming works when it really just doesn't. We run into the issue with Apex Legends and Call of Duty, all of these games, whatever, whatever it is, there just needs to be a suicide button implemented into most of them. Now, let's discuss getting mutations. Before, in the previous video, it was exposed that it cost $120 to buy all the eggs. 120 plus dollars but <clears throat> let me just show you the mutations that i have gotten if you look at it for some reason i'm only getting mutations on the brawlers that i don't fucking use yeah cliffy is relatively blowed triggered i mean you got grom the most retarded and uh, mutation just four shots in one you got sprout another fucking seed wall why is it that my below 500, not even star power unlocked brawlers, why is it that they're doing this to me? I can't, I can't even afford to pay for more. And then they don't even want to give me a good mutation. Like there's so many mutations that are fire. Look at Colonel Ruffs. Like his bullets last forever and infinitely bounce around the map like ricochet. There are literally so many practical mutations, but then there's some that are just like, why the fuck did you guys include this in this update? What are you doing? What are you doing? The Brawl Stars developers are so weird. I don't even know why I'm complaining. It's to be expected that they half-ass this game. It's to be expected that they go for a cash grab. It's to be expected that they, uh, they leave in like exploits whilst having the mode... Like, we could play the mode for about a week before it was actually released. Like, there were people testing the mode for a week. What's the point of pre-releasing a mode to allow them to play test it in non-ladder matches? If after it gets play tested and it, it, it becomes relatively obvious that there are huge issues in the mode, why do they allow it to um to get hauled out? Like, why is, why is, the, why is this even here? Why are you allowing this? How can a, a million dollar, a billion dollar company like Supercell be so negligent? It's disgusting. And this is why I really do hate the developers. 